what's up guys my name is kiana and today i'm online with a wash and retwist as you can see my locks are in dire need of some tlc it's been at this point about two and a half months since i last retwisted back in october and i have tons of new growth um my hair is very dirty because i've been consistent with my workouts so let's get straight into it and go ahead and wash the first thing you want to do is really drench, 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 drench your hair with water. You want to make sure that your locks are completely drenched with water before you start putting any product in. I mean, get the top, middle, back, like really make sure that water is in there. Today, I'm using African black soap to wash my hair. Um, sometimes I also use Dr. Bronner's Castile soap, um, but I am in the market for a new shampoo um, just because I've heard that these both leave a little bit of film on your hair. So I just want to see if there is a difference with another cleanser. But yeah, I'll start um, with this first wash by massaging it into my roots only and pretty much focusing on the top, middle, and back sections. Focusing really, really, really on my roots, getting all of the soap in there and massaging at my roots. I'm not too focused on my ends right now because I am going to do another cleansing after I wash this out. So for this first one, I just want to make sure that I um, really focus on my roots and just bringing all that dirt to the top with this first wash. After I wash that out, I'm gonna separate my hair into three sections, the top, middle, and bottom. And starting from the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and start shampooing again. And this time, we're gonna focus on the roots, but also the ends of our hair. This is really my opportunity to make sure that each and every lock is getting some love. So I'm going in and like smushing the product, the soap into each and every lock and kind of smushing it and like, <laughs> roughen it up a little bit to kind of make sure that the soap is getting in there and any dirt is getting out and I do this to each and every lock as I go through my hair and then once I'm done with the bottom section I'll take down the middle section and again do the same thing first focusing on the roots and then going into each individual lock and pushing the soap in and all around it to make sure that it's getting really clean and then again I'll take down the top section and do the same thing focusing on my roots first and then each lock going down smushing in the shampoo taking a couple <laughs> thumbnail pictures but making sure that that soap is getting all throughout my hair next thing that I do is rinse all of that soap out really really well um, whenever you're rinsing out products from locks you want to make sure that you go above and beyond so a quick rinse is not going to do it you really have to be under that water for a very long time to make sure that all the product gets out so rinse and rinse and rinse some more <laughs> keep going until it is all out this so next step is pretty controversial, I know, but I do like to condition my locks. So I'm going in with just a pump or two of this Aussie Moist Conditioner. And as you can see, I'm going to mix it with the water in the shower so that it's very liquidy, very soupy. And then I apply it to mainly to the ends of my hair, but a little bit to uh, my edges as well. And I find that conditioning helps keep my locks soft and moisturized. So I'll let that sit in for a little bit. I will go ahead, take a shower, <laughs> and then when I come back, um, I let it rain, I clear it out. <laughs> Um, you have to have fun while you're washing your hair and then I go ahead and rinse out all of that conditioner again Rinse 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 like I cut this up and I sped it up But I was under there for a long time rinsing out all of that product You don't want to leave anything in your hair. So get all up in there. Trust me so i thought it would be really important to show you exactly how i have my mirrors so obviously i have the big mirror right in front of me that's above my sink to the right of that i have my medicine cabinet mirror that has that like um side view for me and then i have this little mirror and that i opened <laughs> on uh, this drawer and as you can see if you look in here if it will focus 
If I'm looking in this mirror, I can see the back of my head in the medicine cabinet mirror. And if I look in this mirror, I can see the back of my head in the small mirror. So that's how I get the back of my head. I know that's kind of like a crazy setup. I know some people like to put one back here, like they'll have their mirror in front of them and then they'll put a mirror back here. For me, that just didn't work. Um, and for when I do it with these side ones, like I can go really close up to this back mirror and then in this mirror in front of me the medicine cabinet mirror it'll show me really close up so another thing i wanted to mention is that sometimes i use tools like a brush and a comb to retwist my hair and sometimes i don't i'll just use my fingers in this instance since it had been so long and my roots were so thick i did decide to use a brush and a comb um so i'll take down a layer of hair one row i'll apply some coconut oil um just to soften things up a bit i will brush down the section so that um it's kind of laying a little bit more flat and then i'll go in with the parting and trying to get the part as straight as possible I'm not a huge stickler stickler <laughs> for the parts being super straight um, if they are that's great if they're not that's okay as well I think that locks look better when they're not so uniform at least in my opinion so I don't mind if I can't get it exactly straight I'm not gonna break up my hair and like be pulling and forcing it if it doesn't go fairly easily then I'll just leave it alone Once I get it, um, you know, just about straight for the entire section, then I'll move on to the individual parts. Um, I'll apply a little bit more oil and then I will go ahead and part out that actual individual box so that I can go ahead and twist it. Here is a better view so you can see I just apply a little bit more of that uh, healing oil to that one spot and then I twist it and it's very important that you twist it in the direction that your locks were originally formulated. I know that all of my locks go towards the mole on my face that's how I remember it so that is what I do sometimes I do forget though but um, trust me as you're twisting it you'll realize and then you'll just go in and fix it. When I get towards the top of my hair, I go ahead and divide the top section into two um, and then I start working um, side to side instead of front to back if that makes sense. So here you can see me just parting out the side like I do, trying to get it as straight as possible but not caring if it's not perfect. And it's a pretty straightforward process. I'm not going to keep boring you guys with me just saying the same things over and over again. Um, but I do have a close up coming so keep watching. So here's the close-up and I think you can just tell what I'm doing a little bit better. Um, so again, split the section with my fingers. I'll go in with the comb to try to get this part a little bit more straight. Once it's to my liking, I apply a little bit more oil to that one individual box. And then I'll twist in the direction that my lock was formed. Apply the little um, butterfly clip and that's it. Do the same thing to this very last one. I was so happy to be done at this point. Oh my goodness, it took forever. <laughs> A new person literally <laughs> um, so now I just take like a few of the clips out from the very bottom um, just because you don't really need them like the the hair is looped around so it will stay you don't really need to have all these clips so I just take a few out just so it's like a little bit more comfortable um, I'm just gonna walk around right now 
let my hair air dry and then later on when I go to sleep I'll put this bonnet on but I'm gonna keep most of the clips in I might take a few more out and then in the morning I'll show you guys like what I do to just finish it up but yes I love it I'm so happy and my hair has really grown like so I love that hopefully I can include like maybe a picture or two of like my very first retwist so you can see the difference but um if you're out there like your locks will like thicken up trust me because my locks thickened up so much and <laughs> i just love it this is the next day and y'all i was so pissed i realized that i was recording myself in slow-mo version the entire time but i did just want to show you guys how my twist look fresh out of my bonnet the next day so as you can see you can finally see the parts on my scalp again everything is neat and in place but it's not so uniform and that's because i don't twist my um, locks all the way down to the end i don't palm roll them because i want them to be as thick as possible but yeah, I'm very happy with the results and thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff and I will see you in the next one. Bye!